Sammy Watkins' comments from his introductory presser as a Baltimore Raven should actually do a lot more good than bad. And that's because Don't get mad. YouTube team keep it clean what's going on it's Engraven here with another video and in this video well, before we get into it shout out to all the team keep it clean patrons I uh, appreciate y'all uh, rocking with us extra heavy um, thank you for that thank you for being super supportive now uh, in the comment section of yesterday's video when we talked about the Sammy Watkins comments how he mentioned the Ravens receivers don't get open enough um, they don't get enough separation and they just need to step it up for their quarterback Lamar Jackson uh, and how he also spoke about Greg Roman's offense and really defended uh, Greg Roman's offense since he said hey we can blame the offensive coordinators all we want to but it's the players it's the players now, there were some people in the comments section and on Twitter, Facebook, all that. They were like, man, who is Sammy Watkins to be saying this? Who is he to come into this system and be saying this? Does he not know what's been said about this Ravens offense from people both on the in and the outside? Who is Sammy Watkins? But then there were other people who were looking at it from the other opposite end of the spectrum. Like, hey, that's that veteran presence that we need. That's that leadership that we need. We need somebody who's going to hold guys accountable and somebody that's going to have those uncomfortable conversations and also somebody who's going to call people out and not even calling people out in a controversial way, but calling them out to let them know like, hey, it's time for not only you, but for me, all of us to step it up as a whole. Because that's the group that's looked at the most when it comes to the Baltimore Ravens. We're not looking at another quarterback. We're not looking at the running backs. Offensive line, that, that group gets looked at a lot too. But every single year, annually, it's always the same question. What's going to happen with the Baltimore Ravens wide receiver? What are they going to do at the wide receiver position? And even though... A lot of us feel like Sammy Watkins should not be the end-all, be-all when it comes to wide receiver for the Baltimore Ravens. We can't deny that Sammy Watkins has certainly, uh, in his, what has been a week, less than a week, since he's been a Baltimore Raven officially, he has certainly had a big impact. So he came on the scene, and he called it out. And, and him calling out the, the Ravens receivers, uh, my guy Nitra put it in a, he put in a very simple way he said hey he doesn't think that sammy watkins was doing this to call out the receivers because he could have had a personal conversation with him on the side he could have hit them up sent them a dm or whatnot but he said he thinks that this was really for the fans letting the fans know like hey uh this is greg roman's offense it, it, that's the offense isn't the problem it's the receivers not doing what they need to do now do i agree with that uh yes and no I think it's a good mix of both. There's been a lot of issues uh, when it's come to this Ravens offense, and everybody has their hand in the problems. Lamar, he's made a couple of questionable decisions. He's made some bad throws. He's missed some throws. Then there's been the receivers. Uh, sometimes they may drop a pass, they, and it can be very frustrating. And then with, with the drop passes, you know, the Ravens, they don't pass the ball so often, so those drop passes, they hurt a lot more. And then there's been play calling. There's been some play calling where it's like, whoa, whoa, like what is going on here? I don't understand like why we would do that, especially the situational play calling. That's probably been the biggest issue uh, when it comes to the play calling as a whole. So everybody plays their part. Everybody has their hand in this whole thing. But what Sammy Watkins did and what he's doing, he came through and he's making himself accountable. And with him making himself accountable and all the other wide receivers accountable, this can only benefit them. It can only benefit them. Initially, it may rub some guys the wrong way. It could. They could be like, who does this guy think he is? And because a point that I brought up is that a lot of guys and some guys that have some significant experience outside this Ravens uh, offense, like a Dez Bryant, like a Willie Sneed, these guys talked about, how, and Steve Smith Sr. too, but these guys talked about how this offense just, it ain't it. 
this offense is just not the offense that it needs to be. And that's because of Greg Roman. Now, Des Bryant, he didn't call it by name. Now, Willie Sneed, he didn't call it by name, but you could tell by their wording and what they said that they were speaking about the offense. Uh, but with Steve Smith Sr., yeah, he, he straight up called it out by name. But one thing that uh, my guy, I was talking to my guy JT about this yesterday, and he made a very, very good point when it comes to Dez Bryant, who openly spoke about the offense, and when it comes to Willie Sneed, who openly spoke about the offense, he said, yeah, those guys definitely have experience in other offenses. But Sammy Watkins brings a different kind of experience to these Baltimore Ravens. Because uh, as we know, Sammy Watkins has other experience in different offenses, but Sammy Watkins has Super Bowl experience. There's Brian, Willie Sneed. They got experience, but they, their experience stops at playoffs. But Sammy Watkins, no, it goes through that. So Sammy Watkins knows exactly what it takes. He knows exactly what it's like to be on both ends of the spectrum, but both ends of the spectrum that's as far as you can go in the National Football League. And what I mean when I say that is that he's been on the side whether his team has won a Super Bowl, so he knows what, it's, what it takes. And he's also been on the side where his team has lost the Super Bowl. But both times, whether they won or lost, they got there. They made it that far. So Sammy Watkins knows what it takes. He knows what it takes on the field. And he knows what type of character needs to be constructed off the field in order to get there. Now, with these Ravens receivers, this could push them that much harder in order for them to just be that much better. Because they could listen to the headlines and they could listen to different podcasts. They could watch different videos. They could see stuff all over social media about this. And they could be like, oh, oh, he said that. Oh, really? Okay, well, you know what? Sammy Watkins, he, he thinks it's not the offense. He gonna see. He gonna see. But what I'm gonna do for Sammy Watkins, since he thinks that this offense is not a problem, he wanna say it's on us, we gonna show him. We gonna show him. I am going, you know what? I already gave 100% last year, but you know what? This year, I'm giving 110%. I'm going to step it up that much more this offseason, that much more in training camp, that much more so I can really try to show out. And when I get my opportunity, I'm going to do everything that I possibly can to do my thing. When my opportunity comes, when my name is called, hey, I, I ain't messing around. And I'm going to show this dude, Sammy Watkins, that it's not us. It's the offense. So what can that possibly do? That can make those receivers go that much harder. And who benefits from that? Well, the team as a whole. The team as a whole. If these dudes are really, really working on their craft that much more. If these dudes are really, really perfecting their route running that much more. If these dudes are really, really working on their hands that much more. Just working on their entire game that much more. It only benefits the team. That's all it does. It only benefits the team. Now, Sammy Watkins, with his comments, what he's done, he has put a lot of pressure on himself. He's put a lot of pressure on himself. And with that, because, again, he, he talked about with the injuries. We know that he has been injured a lot, a whole lot. And then he, he, his response to that, well, some coaches, they know when to pull me. They know how to pace me. Uh, and I also got to work out, right? I got to get my massages. I got to eat right. The whole nine. So there's that pressure on him to stay healthy. Now, a lot of that is kind of out of their control. Like, because somebody in the comment section made a really, really good point. Um, they said, that, of course, no, no football player goes into a season. And no football player goes and gets hurt on purpose. No, nobody does that. So we know Sammy Watkins is not out there like, oh, well, hey, well, time to get injured. No, he's not doing that. Nobody's doing that. But so that puts pressure on him with staying healthy. I mean, but there's already enough pressure on him to stay healthy. But where he really put the pressure on himself was he said, hey, I, I know what I can do in this Greg Roman offense. I went out there and I've done it before. But when he said that those guys aren't getting open. When he said they aren't getting open enough for Lamar Jackson, and Lamar can be an elite quarterback if these guys would just get open for him, 
Sammy Watkins, you know exactly what you got to do and what you have to do consistently. You need to always be open. You need to always be ready to make a play. You need to have your number be ready to be called upon whenever it's time. Whenever 14 is on the field, you need to be that guy. Now, can you be that guy? We're going to see. And like I said, Sammy Watkins, his model this entire season needs to be. Prove him wrong. And prove me wrong. Prove us all wrong. Because there's a lot of doubt in a lot of people's minds right now. And it's not about Sammy Watkins' ability. But it's about his availability. That's one of the biggest things. But with his words, the ability has to show up too. It has to show up too. Because if you're going to defend the offense, and if you're going to call out the guys who are on this offense, you are stepping into a leadership role. And there's nothing wrong with that. That's a beautiful thing. That's a good thing. And this adds some valuable experience to the offensive side of the ball for the Baltimore Ravens. Because one thing that they had been lacking on offense was Super Bowl experience. They were lacking that. Last year, they, they didn't have that. They didn't have people with that Super Bowl experience. They're very, very young. Very, very young team. And that can be a gift and a curse all at the same time. But Sammy Watkins, again, he adds somebody that has been there and done that. And again, going into the season, he'll be 28 years old. Really, 28 years young. And it's so still always so crazy to think about that because it seems like this dude has been playing the game for a long time. But he has been since 2014. So this, this is a good thing. And I know Sammy Watkins, there were some people that were on the fence about Sammy Watkins initially when the Ravens first, even when the Ravens first had interest in him. But I know after Sammy Watkins made his statement, he gained a lot more fans. And a lot more people were like, oh, okay, I like this dude, Sammy. I mean, it, he's from Florida, so you got no choice but to like him already. But with his comments, he just, he made you like him that much more. But the offseason is for all the talking. It's about that action. Regular season is where he really, really needs to show out. They all really, really need to show out. Because, again, the pressure's on. The pressure's on. Sammy Watkins has not only put pressure on himself, but put pressure on everybody else, too. Because, you know all the receivers, you know they don't like that. You know they don't want to hear that. Like, Imagine telling the receiver, hey, you, you're not getting open enough. That's like telling the quarterback, you can't throw. That's like telling the running back, you're a terrible runner. That's like telling the offensive lineman, you are a terrible blocker. And so on and so forth. Imagine telling the wide receiver, you ain't getting open. You are not getting open enough. You need to get open more. It's like, oof, that, that cuts deep. But, hey, Sammy Watkins was willing to do it. And because, again, he's stepping into that leadership role. So what do leaders need to do? He needs to lead. So we'll see how this whole thing works itself out. Team Keep It Clean, I love y'all. Sammy Watkins, again, hey, a lot of Team Keep It Clean. We rocking with you, man. We're going to see what you're all about come this football season. And just really see what this entire team is all about. And see if these receivers, this offense, can really take that next step forward, that next leap forward. Appreciate y'all. We out.